What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I have a surprise. A surprise for you. In this package, you're gonna like it. Uh, I think I'm gonna like it too. So, let's, got my sweet knife. It seems a little dangerous having it. It's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'll just, oh, what if I miss when I put it back in the sheath? But this is what you're supposed to do with it. So, trying it out. Okay, so in this package. What? Oh. oh. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. So, if you haven't heard of Diamond Core Tools, should check it out. They have an Instagram, they have website, whatever. I bought something from Diamond Core Tools about maybe like a month ago. And what it was is a diamond grinding pad. So it's this pad, whoa, that you put onto a bat and then you get it wet and then you spin it on your wheel and it acts as like grinding. It can grind off glaze if it drips to the bottom. It can grind off like anything. It just can smooth out your thing. And I know that Diamond Core Tools also makes really great carving tools. And I've started to carve a little more. So this is like, ooh, it's so light. And so I reached out to Diamond Core Tools and said, hey, like, I'd love to test out some of your carving tools and they have different levels of the diamond grinding discs. And so I got a coarse, a really coarse one. This is the medium one. I have a coarse one and a fine one. And then they also sent me a couple of these carving tools. They're more popular ones. Oh, so I'm super excited to test them out. T show you guys what I think. I mean, I know I'm gonna like them because they just do a great job. They, they sponsor a lot of cool um, potters on Instagram. They have a great business. And these, I really, really, really like these diamond grinding discs because you put water on them. So you're actually wet grinding. So you're not grinding dry like you would be with like a bench grinder or anything. And so you're not kicking any dust into the air. So it's way healthier and safer to have these grinding discs. They also work well, really well for like kiln stilts. Like if you want to grind your kiln stilts so it gets flat, works really well for that. That's what this video is about. We're testing out these tools. Thanks so much to Diamond Core Tools. Check out their website, check out their stuff. They, I, I'm not even, like, they, they're not paying, they did send me this stuff, they're not paying me any money um, to make this video. I do really believe in their, their these grinding discs. I have used them, I've been using them now for a couple months. So I'll show you, I'll go through it all on the, in this video, so let's do it. So I'm gonna give you four reasons, oops, four reasons why I love these diamond grinding pad disc things, whatever they'll call. Number one is the safety. The fact that you just, like literally I just take a sponge and then as it spins, I just put some water on there. Like that, and then it's good to go. And then you get no dust when you're grinding. So, first reason I use it is when stuff comes out of the kiln and it has just a few little things stuck to the bottom of it. Just get it grinding. Do that for like a couple seconds and then your bottom is completely flat. It's like if it's really heavy stuff on there, it might take a minute, but typically stuff comes off there right away. Number one is the safety. Number two is the stuff that comes right off the bottoms when you unload your kiln. Number three is if something comes out and it's not quite level, like say you put it down and it kind of wiggles. See how that's wiggling a little bit? See that? See a little wiggle? Well, that means that the bottom isn't perfectly flat. And so what we do is we just, you wanna make sure this is always wet. So we just run that around and then you can see on there where it's grinding. So it grinds off the unlevel parts. So then when you sit it down, it sits perfectly flat. Is that a f amazing? Like that's really one of the biggest reasons that, whoa, that I got this in the, in the first place was because I had some stuff that was coming out and I was like, oh, it looks still pretty nice, but the bottom, it just won't sit flat. And so this is the easiest way that I found to just. There you go. And then you got a flat bottom again and you won't have people talking about, oh, it always wiggles. 
kind of craftsmanship is that? Okay, so that's number three. Three ways I use the diamond core tool pads. Number four is to grind kiln shelves. So, see this thing? See that? See that crap right on there? Well, we don't like that. It doesn't help the kiln shelf sit flat. So, same thing, make sure it's wet. We just take this. And then it flattens it right off. It's not perfect yet, but it's a lot flatter than it was. God, that's awesome. That was like literally 30 seconds, and then we have a completely flat kiln shelf. So it's super easy way. Just make sure it's always wet, very important. And this will even work better with the ones, like this is the medium coarse, or like the medium grit one, but they just sent me the coarse grit and the fine grit. So in an ideal world, if I wanna make the bottom super smooth, then I can start with the coarse, then go to the medium, and then go to the fine, and it would be really smooth. Um, just like sandpaper. And it's like diamond, diamond in there, so it's oh, so nice. I mean, diamond just, just seems, sounds cool. Okay. All right, well, let's go over and, and uh, test out the carve tools. Wow. Friends, so thank you so much to Diamond Core Tools for sending us these discs. Super nice. I'm pumped for these. And these carving tools, because these zebra wood carving tools, they're so cool. They look sweet, they work super well. I I haven't tested them out a bunch, but so far they cut carve really nicely. This one I uh, carved a little too deep, so then I just made a candle holder instead of uh mug or whatever but yeah once I get used to them a little more I think I really really like them definitely an upgrade from the carving tools that I have now like I can tell a big difference we'll see how that turns out this was just kind of a fun little playing around thing anyway so yeah go check out diamond core tools for all your tool needs they got tons of cool pottery ceramic stuff I think that's it for this video yeah if you haven't already hit that subscribe button comment below tell me what uh, what videos are you just itching to see? What videos are you are you like, oh man, I really struggle with this. What do you struggle with? As an artist, a potter, a person, just a, you know, whatever. What are those things you're struggling with? I have struggles too, I'm struggling with. What am I struggling with? This studio is costing a lot more than I expected it to, which is kind of stressing me out. See you in the next video.